I've got some information on what's going on with Project Veritas, folks. I've got a video clip. It's uh, 14 whistleblowers, people that are involved in this, uh, getting the information out from Project Veritas, people that were courageous enough to stand up and say this ain't right, including employees that work for Project Veritas that are just totally against them getting rid of James O'Keefe. Well, it does look like that uh, if you wait to the end of the video, you'll see Project Veritas has already realized they've lost hundreds of thousands of followers. Their donors are dropping off like flies, and a lot of people are really pissed off about this. They didn't expect the backlash they're getting from this, and there is a final result of what is how they've changed their tune. Now, as far as what James O'Keefe is going to do, I believe he'll go on and start him a new company with some of these uh, disgruntled employees as well. And Project Veritas will be no more, and that is probably the way it should go down. When you crack can, the main guy that is running the show, I think I would be just like James O'Keefe. I think I would go start it somewhere, go rebuild my company somewhere else without these clowns that think they have the right to uh, be intimidated or censor, however you want to put it, uh, my journalism. That, that would just be enough for me to never want to work with these folks again. Now, we will find out a little bit more about this as time goes on. But as of right now, we've got um, employees bailing. we got James O'Keefe. says, I'm done with them. I can't do it. I had to resign because they basically gave me no choice because the way they basically kicked him out, took his uh, job duties away from him. There is a 45-minute full video version of this if you want to see it. Uh, James O'Keefe, uh, goodbye. Just let me know. I will put it in the comment section down below if you just ask me uh, on, on on your particular comment. It was actually a very moving 45-minute uh, uh, spill as to him explaining exactly what happened that led him to leaving. Uh, hopefully, everybody's got a chance to see that. Now, let me go ahead and get into this video. Uh, thank God for people that stand up for uh, free speech, including... Project Veritas, uh, Project Veritas's James O'Keefe, not Project Veritas anymore. I don't know what to speak to say for the company anymore. I don't know if they'll be reporting like CNN, or they'll still be trying to get the news out there. But I think the truth of the matter is, they are uh, probably shot themselves in the foot, or in the foot, or as I say, screwed the pooch by getting rid of their main guy. Let me go ahead and get in this video and see. What, tell me what you think of these people's uh, sentiment towards the situation. I'm the CBS Detroit whistleblower with Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the CNN whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. HHS vaccine nurse whistleblower with Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the Department of Homeland Security whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the HHS whistleblower exposing government-sponsored, taxpayer-funded child trafficking. I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the Hasbro CRT whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. Postal Service whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James. I was one of the Project Veritas Facebook insiders, and I stand by James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on Facebook, and I stand with James O'Keefe. And I blew the whistle on Pfizer to Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. United Healthcare Whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on Tegna, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on ESPN and Disney, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I was the Project Veritas Whistleblower for Google, and I stand by James O'Keefe. My name is April Moss. My name is Carrie Porch. This is Jody O'Malley. My name is Aaron Stevenson. My name is Tara Rodas. My name is David Johnson. My name is Richard Hopkins. My name is Ryan Herbig. My name is Cassandra Spencer. My name is Melissa McAtee. I'm Sean Stagg. My name is Zach Voorhees. My name is Brett Mauser. I am Trevor Adams. That was pretty moving, folks. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below about that particular video. But we ain't done yet. Let me jump back down here to the Gateway Pundit's main page. And I will get into what has happened since this backlash has started with the Project Veritas getting rid of James O'Keefe. This is getting, uh, getting a little more uh, spicier by the moment, folks. I cannot wait to see what James O'Keefe's response will be 
after Project Veritas uh, got rid of him. Let me go here. Here we go. Now here is the video. It says Justin Project Veritas released a video saying that they want James to keep back. Of course you do. After a desperate plea for donors not to jump ship. That's exactly what's going on, folks. They're losing their money train. They thought he was uh, going to cut into some of their advertising money for the stories he reports. Little did they know that uh, James O'Keefe is Project Veritas. And without him, they're just some news rag that uh, probably most people will never watch again. Project Veritas has released a video saying that we want James O'Keefe back after losing hundreds of thousands of followers and begging donors not to abandon them. The video came out the same day as that a dozen, more than a dozen Project Veritas whistleblowers published a video pinned to a letter to the organization's board of directors saying that they stand with the ousted founder. We at the staff of Project Veritas are at a crossroads. The video begins. And we'll go ahead and get into the video instead of me telling you about it. We'll just jump right into it. We, the staff at Project Veritas, are at a crossroads. High-level disputes between our leader and founder, James O'Keefe, and the volunteer board of directors who are responsible for oversight of the nonprofit have resulted in James no longer being here. James is not only the founder of Project Veritas, but the creative visionary of our mission. This devastated us and the audience we exist for. James hasn't resigned, nor was he fired. These events confuse and they hurt us leaving all of us in a state of limbo. So we have a choice to make. We want James back, but we have a duty to our generous supporters, to all of you, and to our journalistic integrity. To break record stories which impact our culture, and most importantly, the future of our country. The board may have their obligations, but we are Project Veritas. James assembled this team of over 60 individuals who have bonded together in a common mission to expose waste, fraud, and abuse. We expose everybody. This band of journalists, editors, producers, and all staff are still here to ensure the work gets done. James taught us to move mountains. We know that evil exists. We fight it every day. We don't blame anyone for assuming the worst or thinking we've been co-opted by some outside force. But this fact still stands. No board or donor ever tells us what to report, and they never will. We will never replace James O'Keefe, but for now we see it as our job to hold the torch for him while keeping the door wide open for his return. We will keep the spirit of James's mission alive for as long as we are able. We have investigations underway and stories to release. Our reporters are in the field. As James has always told us, content is king. Our visionary may not be with us right now, but the Project Veritas mission is vital. We will produce stories and break news until a day may come when we can't. Until then, we will keep this mission going for our country, for the truth and for James. We know the world is watching and that some are hoping that we fail. We need you to know that as the Project Veritas team, we don't want to see a Project Veritas without James O'Keefe. Due to decisions made outside of our control, it's possible we may never earn back the trust of this audience. But we owe it to all of you to try. Here's my question. It wasn't under their control to oust James, o uh, James O'Keefe. Whose control was it? They're act this video starts off sounding like uh, they're trying to do the right thing. Sounds like the employees are speaking in the video. The ones that are concerned about the future of the company and even James O'Keefe's position there. But at the same time, they tell lies and say James O'Keefe did not resign. He did resign. I listened to the video, the 45-minute video. He did resign. So they're lying there. And they're trying to basically use this as a sales tactic to say... Even if we don't get James O'Keefe back and beyond our power, somebody got rid of him. No, it was the very people that had this video made. Some of them who okayed this video were some of the same people that are realizing they screwed up. And so they're trying to do what's called a damage control backpedal. And uh, so they're trying to say, well, it's just a misunderstanding. No, it's not a misunderstanding. It is y'all did him crappy. And uh, truth be known, you probably run your company behind it. 
Now, they, at the end of the video, there's work dedicated to bringing uh, the truth to more videos, and hopefully they will do that in the future. Uh, I do believe that we need more investigative reporting teams like Project Veritas out there to expose the corruption going on. But they may have to take on a new name when the new guy takes over, uh, being James O'Keefe. It may be James O'Keefe's Veritas, or maybe who knows what the name will be. I can't even speculate, but I guarantee you James O'Keefe probably uh, will not go back to Project Veritas considering the way they have treated him over the last couple of weeks. But in turn, he will rebuild or, or build a company involving a lot of these same folks that have uh, stood behind him since the beginning to help try to expose this. I think it would take not much for James O'Keefe to uh, say, come on with me, I started a new company down the street, and probably get at least half of the staff there on board with it. I don't believe it was the staff's fault that he is gone. I believe it is some of the uh, board of directors, uh, the committee that um, gets together and decides the fate of the company in the name of business, in the name of money. Uh, they got rid of James O'Keefe behind money. They tried to say it wasn't for um, political sway because they were being intimidated or anything. But in truth, that's probably exactly what happened. Somebody uh, crunched the numbers and realized that James O'Keefe is not just the best thing for the company, but at the same time, the things that he exposes could also be a very dangerous thing for the company. And so somewhere along the way, they weighed out their choices and realized um, they don't mind most stories, but once you started going after the big pharma, uh, they couldn't handle it. And that's what it boils down to, in my opinion. Uh, tell me what you think about this video, folks. I'm going to read you a little more of this particular article. Says says the video continues, James is not only the founder of Project Veritas, but the creative visionary of our mission. The dev this devastated us and the audience was we the audience we exist for. The video continued. James hasn't resigned, nor is he fired. These events confused. They hurt us, leaving us all in a state of limbo. I don't believe that's the tr the truth of the matter. I think this, the company is in a state of limbo, but I think it is by the choices that they have put upon themselves by getting rid of him. You know, if um, if you cause a problem, admit your mistake, try to fix the problem, but you continue to lie because you hate the blowback. Now they're obfuscating the truth. They're trying to say, please don't go away, Mr. Donor. We're trying to do the right thing here. Well, I think um, they're going to realize, just like a lot of these media outlets are going to realize eventually, that not just controversy sells, but the truth sells too. Project Veritas has been very successful in their endeavors to just expose the truth, and it has been probably one of the reasons that they have grown so much over the last 13 years and James O'Keefe's dedication. I just want to give him a shout out and props to him for all him and all the whistleblowers that have done their part to try to uh, right the wrongs of this world that are hiding in the shadows. And um, as far as uh, them saying he has been put on temporary suspicion until there was an audit completed, notice, noting that the founder specifically said he did not resign and the board did not fire him, that is what they are saying. This is their uh, mantra at this point, but truth be known, we all know it was a coup to get rid of him uh, just because of uh, no other reason I can imagine than the story that broke a couple of weeks ago involving uh, Pfizer and the Big Pharma. Like, subscribe, and share to vote Patriots. Hopefully this was informative. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, when you comment, like, or subscribe, and share, and all that stuff, it helps grow the channel. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Over and out.